In Belgium, people like hot things and motorsport. Truly dreadful conditions and he spins! And being able to combine the two is even better. In the DTM at Zolder, there are no Belgian drivers, but two Belgian team principals, Vincent Voss and Bart Mampe, and they definitely like their national specialities. Even with a beer, it would even be better. For us, it comes together. When you are on a racetrack, you eat french fries. So. You know, but I, I always wonder myself, why we call it french fries, when it's, you know, it shouldn't be Belgian fries. <laughs> Voss leads the WRT team Audi Sport. Mampe leads BMW team RMG, two DTM rivals with a common past. The first year I met Bart, I mean I met Bart before, but when I saw his team next to, next to my team where I was driving, I was very impressed by, by the organization and I always said to myself, well, I mean this guy, he knows how to take an endurance race. That's where I lost all my hair. It was working with Bart because he's quite, he's quite difficult. He was a great engineer and I think he's an even better team manager. In Belgium, people like motorsport and for a reason. Obviously, um, Belgium is um, it's quite a small country, as you all know. We got this passion because of racetracks. We had great racetracks. I mean, Spa is... Uh, uh, a legendary, I think, a legendary racetrack. Zoller also has a legacy. The legacy with the DTM, but also Formula One. Back in the 70s, I remember when I was six years old, my first Grand Prix that I saw was here. And um, we had people who bring us this uh, passion for motorsport, like Jack Hicks, Paul Frere. For whatever reason, I mean, it's hard to describe why, but uh, it's a fact. This year, there will be no victory for a local hero, but perhaps Voss or Mampe can celebrate after the race as team principals. I would be quite happy. Um, and I think Bart will be happy for us. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would and would you be happy for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 17 years after last having raced here, the DTM is back at Zolder, and even without a local driver, it's a Belgian affair.